Hey everybody, I'm in dreams and uh, I've been working on a game where I had a player uh, looking, uh, taking a, a quest from a, an NPC and I was having problems with the quest working properly with the dialogue boxes not overlapping each other and, and staying on the screen where they're not supposed to and I used to tell you I struggled that for, with that for a couple of weeks and I finally came up with a solution and I want to share it with you now. Um, here's our puppet and we have two boxes. We have a red box and we have a blue box. These represent the quest items and right now you cannot pick them up. I purposely didn't want the player to come across a quest item and pick it up until they had gotten the quest. And so we have the items here. Now the quest giver is going to be over by the fireplace. I didn't bother putting them in. I just This is just a demo. But we go over to the fireplace and there we we talk to the NPC, the non-player controlled character, and we get a quest. Get the red box. Well, in the game there's much more to it than that, but for the demo, this is what we're going to talk about. Go get the red box. Now, we've received the quest, so now when we go over to the box, we're able to pick it up. And then we go back to the fireplace, and he says, okay, you got the red box, now get the blue box. So we go over to the blue box, and we're able to get that as well. We go back, you got the blue box, thanks, and that is basically it. The dialogue boxes work well, everything works well, and uh, so let's go take a look at the logic that we have here. And um, first of all, we need to go back and rewind, and we can see here, this is the logic for the red box, and the blue box is basically the same, just sh change the name of a couple of variables. And what we've done here is we have uh, the trigger zone. Trigger zone detects when the player is inside that trigger zone, and uh, if the player is in that trigger zone, then it, it's going to activate. Now, in this case, we put an AND gate. An AND gate only allows the signal to go through if all of, and in this case two, in both of the uh, variables are both positive. Uh, in this case, the current value is zero. And so the AND gate, um, we're not going to be able to get anything to go through that right now uh, because basically this is saying um, you haven't picked up the, the red quest yet. And so this variable is set for zero. And because it's zero, um, this AND gate is going to keep the player from doing anything. We noticed that before the player came over, he wasn't able to pick up the box. The reason he wasn't able to pick up the box is because this variable is still at zero because he hasn't gotten the quest yet. Now once we get the quest, um, let's go back over here and we'll take a look at this logic that's in the NPC, the non-player control character, and we see that once we get to the fire, uh, there's a trigger zone, okay, and then uh, we have uh, another AND gate, and the AND gate is looking for um, two inputs. Uh, to be positive in, in order to display uh, the text. So in this case, the trigger zone is positive, and now we also have plugged into that this NOT gate. Now the NOT gate basically takes any signal and reverses it. So if it gets a negative signal, it will put out a positive signal. And if it gets a positive signal, it will put out a negative sig sig uh, signal. Now in this case, uh, we have the player trigger the, the uh, trigger zones, so activates the trigger zone, and now we're looking to see. Now this is called the red box. Uh, this is a variable, and um, when you first come in, uh, that variable is set to zero, which means when it gets to the not gate, the not gate will turn it into a positive. So now we're up at the not gate, we have two positives, so now the signal can go through, and we get our text display, and we also activate a variable modifier uh, saying, uh, go, you know, pick up the red. So we've now received the quest, and we are now going to go pick up the red box. So that's what we're going to do now. So we go back, and we go back to the red box. This will now be a positive because of the variable that was set, it will now be a positive, and so now we'll have two positives coming into the AND gate, and so now 
The destroyer will destroy the item, which means we have picked it up, and we also will activate the uh, variable modifier uh, called red box. Let's just take a quick look at that and see what that red box looks like. And we see the variable name is red box. And we add a uh, to that, and we add one. So when it gets power, it'll add one uh, to the variable. And so when we go back to the NPC logic, we have called red box. We'll see that, that will be now be a one, uh, and so that will now activate this AND gate. This AND gate takes the signal from this trigger zone, and it will also take this red box, which is now a 1, because the variable modifier has added a 1 to it. And so now this AND gate can now uh, go ahead. Now we also put in a NOT gate here, because this blue box hasn't been activated yet, so it's a 0. So the 0 goes into the NOT gate, it turns it into a positive signal. So now we have three positive signals. We have the we have the trigger zone, we have the red box which is now a one, and we have this which is a zero turned into a one positive, three positives. Now we can put up the text display that says you got the red box, now go get the blue box. And at the same time we activate uh, and this uh, variable modifier, pick up the blue box, and now we are ready to go to the blue box. When we get to the blue box, we find that the same thing as that we had at the red box. We've got the trigger zone. We've got the uh, pick up the blue box. We have the variable modifier for the blue box. And then we have the destroyer uh, to destroy it when it's picked up. So then we come back here. And we now have the blue box is now a 1. And because that's a 1, this is now a 0. So this AND gate will not display this dialog box because all three of these have to be positives in order for that to display. And now, since this is a 1 and that turns it into a 0, we only have two positives and one negative. It will not allow the signal to go through. That's why that dialog box will not um, get in our way. It won't be appearing now. Instead, we have the blue box positive going into here along with the positive from the trigger zone. Both of those are positive. It'll go through the gate and we have the final text displayer. So that's basically it. It's, a, it's really quite simple. You can add button presses if you want to say press X or presses triangle to do something. You can add all of that. But this is just a very simple way uh, to have multiple quest items uh, and have a, an NPC. I, I did two here. We did a red box and a blue box. You could do more. Uh, they don't even have to be pickup boxes. They could just be conversations. They could be uh, any other way. Basically, this shows you how you can um, display text and have it uh, display at the proper time and then not display when you don't want it, which was my problem. I had these text boxes on top of each other because I couldn't figure out how, once I had activated the text box, how to close it. Well, we don't close it, we just cut it off by using uh, the NOT gates. So I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, I hope it will just plant some seeds and give you some ideas on how you can use it uh, in your games. And, uh, but uh, this is just something I, I hit upon and finally I worked out my problems. So I hope it helps you with your problems as well. Thanks for watching.